that one. I'll have to check the stats, but geez. There really are hidden gems everywhere. Everywhere. Wow. No! This is Lake Scott. It's a little oasis. Using nature however he can. The park is unreliable. Aren't you glad I didn't say anything? Aren't you glad? Yeah. <laughs> State Park. There's these amazing monuments nearby, these rock formations. It's called Monument Rock. Sunrise so and Donuts. I think that's our plan. But we're somewhat early ish to get to this campground, so we should have a full day just kind of hanging out at the campground. Yeah. The lake looks awesome. I bought a bacana at the store today. I don't even know what that is. I've never made a bacana. It's similar. It's similar, people say, to tri-tip, but it's got a big fat cap, should have a lot of flavor. We need something cool like that to break in that new knife of ours. Oh my gosh. It, it needs something cool. That's the plan. bounced off on me. I cheated a little bit and went to the empty site, but we're in. This is beautiful. It really is. It's like a little oasis down here. I thought we were just going to have to go someplace else to do stuff, but there looks like there's hiking trails everywhere here. So all around. It's early too. We got a whole day to explore this state park. Success. That was fast. I might have broken records with that one. I'll have to check the stats, but geez. That was quick. So this is great. Like it was $30 because we needed a $5 entrance fee and we're only staying one night. It was normally 25. It's 50 amp, so. AC, when it's gonna be 102 today? Ever since we forged this knife a few days ago, I've been dying to use it. So like I said before, we got this bacana. I've never cooked a bacana before. What I'm gonna do with it right now is actually do a reverse sear on it. I'm just gonna season it up. Um, I've been trying this out, it's all right. What I really like is the Kinder's, the blend. I have some of that too, but I'm just using this stuff. It's really good actually. It says it's prime steak with black garlic and truffle. Anyways. Basically, you, just, you put it on the smoker for about an hour and a half, hour, just to get it up to about 110 degrees internal temp. And then you crank up either your Blackstone or your smoker again to as high as it goes and then you sear it for a few minutes on side just to get that nice crispy edge. Uh, that's called a reverse sear. So I'm just gonna trim it before I season it with this knife. Um, I'm excited to use it. All right, so as you can see, I just kind of trimmed up the edges, cleaned up the edges a little bit, and took a bunch of the fat cap off. I just don't think I needed that much. It's still a quarter inch to a half inch in some places. I just don't wanna, I don't need to render all that fat too. All right, so I ended up cubing the top of this just to get some more flavor down into it, and so the fat kind of just renders down into this and tenderizes it a little bit. So I got the smoker set to about 230 doesn't really matter what it is it's low or long or whatever you want to do but I'm just gonna bring it to an internal temp of 110 then I'm gonna pull it off I'm gonna crank the heat up on this as high as it'll go and then I'll put the meat back onto it and just sear until it comes up to about 130 let it rest and it should come to a medium um, medium doneness is what if you've watched us that's usually what we do all right I'm gonna pull this off it's reached the internal temp I want. Oh, 
Oh wow, this is gonna be so good. Mm -hmm. Crank this up. Mine goes all the way to 550, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it all the way up. Probably a couple minutes, this will be ready. I'll throw this back on. Probably sear each side another three, four minutes. Get it nice and crispy. It does smell so good. I've never cubed this up like this before, but it seemed like uh, I did some reading on Pecana, and it's not like a brisket fat cap. This this fat cap has a a silver lining in between, a silver membrane. It actually keeps the rendered fat from getting down into the meat, so that's why I did this. This rests. Rest time is over. Let's see how we did. First cut. Oh my yeah. gosh. Oh my gosh. Like butter. Look at that knife. Oh yeah. That is awesome. That is amazing. We broke her in good. And I don't usually eat the fat cat, but in this case, we weren't. <laughs> Holy cow. That is awesome. All right, let's eat. We got salad too. That's right. <laughs> salad and steak. We're going to take a nice uh, walk and check out the history of this place after dinner. How was that steak? It was really good. It, it was, was so good. Amazing. It was amazing. It I even had her. on par with his like hand seared filet mignon. Like that was it so was tender. Really tender. So much flavor. Like so so good. So I'm sorry that we can't share it with you, but um, it's delicious. So this is Lake Scott. It's a little oasis, and I've just been impressed with what I see because it's surrounded by these badlands looking things and it turns out it's home to the most northern pueblo discovered so we're gonna walk and uh go see some of the history how cool when they said this was like a historical state park i didn't realize just how much history was here this has history from the 1600s, a different set of Indians that lived in this area in the 1700s, and then the Steels that came and started their homestead here in the 1800s. They're really the ones that discovered this mound here yeah. so many years later and ended up uh, inviting scientists in 1898 to, you know, unearth this because this was a mound. They found all sorts of tools and everything. Yeah, and it was seven rooms. Isn't that unbelievable? It's really, really. That's just to keep cool in, in the uh, in the summer, so and warm in the winter. The Steels in the early 1900s actually donated it to the state, and then the Daughters of the American Revolution, you know, kind of took control from there and and made it official. It's awesome. This is a really really cool area. This is not like a tributary fed lake. This is a spring fed lake. You know, kind of in the middle of middle nowhere of here nowhere. i mentioned just a second ago that it was a it seemed like an oasis because really it is you come out of the almost the desert and you 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 round the top come down into this and it's full of trees and water beautiful just it is gorgeous. beautiful <laughs> so what is it you el cordalejo you say Cuertalejo. it there she's my spanish <laughs> spanish I think honey that's, i'm sure somebody will correct me on that but say it again say it again Cuertalejo. okay all right <laughs> All right, Lily, you want to try? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to go find the Steel's old homestead. Yes. I believe the, there's one structure left that they've maintained. 
So from what I've read, when they first moved here to Homestead, they actually lived in a dugout. So they had kind of dug out a space just like what the Pueblo Indians had done to stay cool in the summer and to stay warm in the winter. And then after they'd been here for a few years, they decided to actually build a cabin and they've restored it to as, as close as possible to what it looked like a hundred years ago. I don't know that it's like restored, but it's just- It's just been kept up, I yeah. guess, yeah. Well, I'm guessing we're a little bit too late for the tours. <laughs> I wonder if these were trees here. Probably not. They were here in the early 1900s, so that's over a hundred years ago. So I'm guessing none of these trees were here. I wonder if that was their old, their old dugout they lived in. It's either the outhouse or it is the old dugout, and they just built their house next to it. It's the storeroom. Yeah. Maybe that's what it turned it into. into. Look in here. See if you see anything that might jump out at you. Don't say that to me. Look through there. Anyone who might have watched you. Wow. No! <laughs> I'm guessing nobody can see what's going on here. <laughs> We're a little late. We are way late. Do you think that goes down to the water? Look at all these pathways. Well, you can't see them. Oh, well, they had a basement and everything. Look at that, a daylight basement. Well, we probably should have come down here during the day. I'm going to describe what I'm seeing. This is brick, and I'm guessing in the 1900s it was yellow, since we are in Kansas. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. You're to see the wizard. This is going to be the most boring film ever. Just describe it. Just imagine. Just imagine. It, guys. Yes. An elegant, stairwell. An elegant stairwell. stairwell. Okay, Layla. Made of dirt. I feel like we're coming to a clearing okay. here. Lit, bugs Lit up by lightning bugs. Surrounded by grass. So there's no snakes. Okay. Fireflies. Well, where are you taking us? Oh my goodness. Look at this. It goes all the way down to the water. Okay, I think we're done filming. It's too dark. So we're not getting anything else accomplished here. We will see you guys first thing in the morning for sunrise and donuts. Donuts and coffee with Monument Rocks. Oh, nice and that AC. Nice and cool in here. Nice and cool. Good morning, we have made it to Monument Rocks National Landmark this morning and it is even cooler than we anticipated. We are just sitting around waiting for the sun to go up so we can have some coffee and donuts and to explore these really crazy formations in the middle of Kansas. Unbelievable, check this out. Corey is off getting some photos. The girls and I are gonna set up and find a good spot to watch the sunrise. I love watching the line of the sun. Look at this arch. I'm used to taking cover under my skin. But I wanna step outside and take it all in. Cause baby, it's like a light storm To be yours Finding freedom in the downpour You're like a light storm A light storm 
beetle. It's coming to get you, Lil. Dad saved me. He smells your donuts, Lily. Pretty nice for a, a Kansas sunrise and donuts, huh? What in the world? This is such a cool little spot. This is unreal. I know we've said it a bunch, but look at this place. It's just up out of the nothingness. I know. There's not a bunch of little ones anywhere else, but this right here and right here. They're just here. Up out of nowhere. It's like the oasis that we're currently staying in. It just like shows up out of nowhere. It really is like such a perfect depiction of the fact that there really are hidden gems everywhere. Everywhere. I, this is on private property. Yeah. So the landowner is just nice enough to let people come here as long as people don't They're destroy it. Yeah. Which is super nice because he could just shut it down. He could just have posted on it. It's but amazing. It's I think it's farther enough off the road that it doesn't get a ton of traffic. So Yeah. Because we were on dirt roads for what? 10 miles? A while. Yeah, so just be prepared if you are going to come out that you're going to be on dirt roads. It's not a place that you'd want to like tow an RV. But the roads are smooth. Yeah. Like you can... Yeah, they weren't rutted bad or anything. Yeah, they they're beautiful. they're great. Beautiful. Such a cool spot to come and see sunrise. I would imagine sunset out here is gorgeous as well. Oh, yeah. I can't see you. <laughs> Lily's being blinded Thank by you. the sun. Can you see me now? <laughs> How about now? Uh, <laughs> I can't see. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> okay, so my favorite part of this entire morning, like the, the sunrise is beautiful, donuts and coffee are great. I love that we can hear the cows. The cows, the yeah. Because it just feels like we're on the ranch and we're on our way there. And like, there is just something so special about that, that sound to us now. It feels like we're on the cattle drive. It's awesome. Switching up the, uh, the view here. Nice. Gotta get the truck in. Gotta get that truck in. Isn't it cool? Like, this is definitely, usually we're doing a hike to get someplace. We kind of, uh, just we just cheated. We cheated. She was <laughs> way, way on time. Yeah, normally, it really well. we like, really did. This we got here, we're like, something's gotta go wrong. <laughs> we did not feel like niggers. We did not feel like niggers. No, we were here way early. All right, so we got apple fritters and raspberry jelly they're kind of like had them they're, they're kind of gone they're not really well that's the idea <laughs> that's what we're doing here now we just bring down to sunrise and we just chuckle most important piece <laughs> I'm waiting for one of you to say something clever it's not gonna happen okay. well are you glad I didn't say uh, anything are you glad yes all right <laughs> uh, Lily for the win okay all right That was a dusty road, even with a tunnel cover. Look at all the dust. 